Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to JS Madras. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to perform IDW for the given data sets. So, we are going to perform the inverse distance weighted interpolation to estimate the rainfall. So, as you can see here, this is the rainfall data. So, it has been represented in point and uh, each point is nothing but the rainfall stations and you can find on the top it is nothing but the amount of rainfall received annually. So with this we are going to uh, run the interpolation I, that is IDW. So in order to run the IDW we need to first find, a, find the tool where it is located. So open the arc toolbox. Now here you can just uh, go, go down and you can see spatial analysis tool. Just click on the plus button. Now come down and uh, here you can find the option interpolation. Select the interpolation. There are a lot of, uh, lot of uh, interpolation available. So in this uh, example we are going to see inverse distance weighted. So double click the tool will be automatically open. So there is another method where uh, we can uh, find out the tools. So you can find here the search uh, tab. Just click here and you can directly search IDW here. The second one, IDW Spatial Analysis Tool. Just click on it. So this is the second method to find out the tool. So now we need to input the point, uh, point data. So this uh, point data has the uh, location of the rainfall station and we are having the amount of rainfall for each of the station we are having. So here in Z value field we must select the rainfall. So this is the rainfall is the variable so I am just selecting the rainfall. Okay. So the next thing is that we are going to specify the output raster. You can specify it and finally you can see the output cell size. It's optional if you want you can change it. And now we need to select the option OK in order to run this tool. So now you can just see here the result has been come out. So this is the uh, IDW. So we have find out the rainfall of the nearby regions. So as you can see here, previously we have the points here, but we can't find the rainfall, how much rainfall it has been received over here. So that is why we are uh, using interpolation in order to find the uh, rainfall of the unknown region using the known region. Using the known region, we are just finding the uh, rainfall in the unknown region. So that is why we are using interpolation. So this is the IDW technique. Here you can also just change the colors, colors uh, sequence. Go to the option symbology. Here you can uh, choose it based on your uh, purpose. For example, here uh, we are just uh, doing uh, rainfall. So I am going to select uh, the uh, blue color uh, which is uh, ranging from uh, light to dark. And you can see that the light color represents the lesser rainfall and the dark color uh, represents the higher rainfall. Now I'm going to just apply and just click OK. And you can see here. So if you have any doubts in performing the IDW, please do ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.